What's Up, Apex Media this week, of course, is covering Apex Expo in Boston, and I'm now visiting the Viasat stand with Don Butchman. Hey, I'm Ryan. Yeah, hi. Nice to see you again, nice Don. Nice to see you, yep. Um, let's talk a little bit about what's going on at Viasat. You guys have been really busy lately. Yeah, we've been really busy. We've got a lot of announcements over the years, and this is uh, one of our big years for execution. Mm -hmm. So um, we've been executing on several big contracts. Our fleet is growing. We're over 900 aircraft now in service. Um, you'll see a little bit of that later on with our live kind of board of mm -hmm. kind of what's active in the U.S. today. And we're really excited about this show. We announced Viasat 2 several years ago, put it in service. This show we announced a lot company, mm -hmm. who's a French boutique airline that all flies business class, all business right? class from Paris to New York, yep. and Aeromexico. Those two airlines both came on with enabled by our Viasat 2 technology and our Viasat 2 coverage. So what's really cool is whenever we get coverage with capacity, customers follow. And that's been happening since the beginning, US, Europe, Australia, and now over the North Atlantic and Latin America. Yeah, it's really moving forward by leaps and bounds, yeah. I think. Can you talk a little bit about the specific technology that you're using? Because I, you know, there's a couple different providers out there and sometimes people are confused. KU, is it KA? Yeah. How does it work? Yeah, okay, so we're a KA. You know, our, our main high capacity is KA and it's Viasat technology. Mm -hmm. That should be pretty clear about that. That's this is, this is not your mother's KA. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is the real KA. We've been putting up uh, hundreds of gigabits per second in our satellites. Mm -hmm. Viasat 3, our next generation, is going to be over 1,000 gigabits per second. Wow. Um, it's completely vertically integrated, so it's Viasat satellites, Viasat operations, ground network, aircraft kit, and we're the internet service provider as well. So we're basically one-stop shop and do everything, including the software. That's that really, goes right down. really impressive. Yeah. So how's everything been going with the uh, integration of Arconix into Viasat? Oh, it, it's been fantastic. So you've seen a lot of our announcements that we're deploying is, includes wireless IFP. You know, so that's a locally stored content. American mm. Airlines and Qantas have both deployed it and United Airlines. So it's really been fantastic uh, bringing that technology in-house, integrating them in. It's become core product offering. Mm. And it's just, it's almost, uh, you know, it's just like as if it's air. We're breathing it. It's normal. It's one of the best acquisitions. You know, it seems like it couldn't have been more seamless. Mm -hmm. Now they have a cockpit set of products with their aerodocs and electronic flight bags. And we're really excited to see that being deployed and connecting that up with our core product. So you're really able to make a, a great business case for the airlines. You've got a fantastic passenger experience available, and then you know with the flight bag and all this sort of technology yeah. from Arconix, you're also making a great case operationally. Operational data, right, and we, you know, we really are becoming aviation software experts with Arconix and bringing that, and so it's not just, you know, connectivity is not the end, it's the means. Mm -hmm. So what are the applications? So passengers, internet was the first one, operational data, live television, all these applications are useful, and bringing Arconix in has really you know, brought that expertise and allows us to help the airline get more value out of the pipe. Okay, so what's next for you guys? Oh, Vice at three, so we're going global. Three. Which is really exciting, can't wait. Uh, 2020, so we should have our first satellite in service. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a constellation of three satellites, uh, give us global coverage. And that'll basically, then we won't have, we'll have coverage everywhere with high capacity KA. And it's, in our difference of ours, it's a lot of capacity and it's priced for the masses. Meaning we're selling consumers at home that are buying, you know, competing against DSL and cable. We're bringing that, that, that quality and economics to the passenger in our seat now worldwide. That's going to be really exciting. And just on a personal note, do you get really excited when the satellite's about to launch? Like, how is, tense yeah. is that for you guys? You know, it's interesting. It's kind of like a calming. Like, it's a lot of worry kind of going to, like, we're lighting this rocket. That's, like, really expensive yeah, on there. Yeah, it's kind of a big deal. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, it kind of goes up, and it's sort of it's sort of majestic. You see yeah. it go up into the sky, and mm. it just happens, and tidy a couple months later, it's in orbit, and mm -hmm. <laughs> then you start, then the real hard work starts. You know, mm. then you basically got to get it in orbit and get it, you know, integrated with your ground systems and then get it deployed. And that's what's been exciting about Viaset too. We've been doing that over the last year. Yeah. Now it's in service kind of across all our businesses. All right. Well, that's all really exciting. Thank you so yeah. much for sharing yeah, some of your time man. with us, Don. Oh, Thank no you. Thank you for stopping by. Thanks. Yeah.